Lauren Painter is not overweight now, but she knows what it feels like to be teased because she was heavy in childhood. I was the fat kid, so um, I got a lot of name calling based on my weight and physical appearance. Painter decided to change her eating habits and get more exercise. She stopped drinking sodas and rode her bicycle or walked everywhere. As a result, she lost almost seven kilos. It doesn't have to be that hard. It doesn't have to be everything at once. Researchers at the University of North Carolina at Chapel Hill over a 13-year period studied more than 8,000 young people ages 12 to 21. They were normal weight, overweight, or obese. Less than 2% of those who were normal weight became severely obese later in life. But the study's co-author, Penny Gordon Larson, says a majority of those who were already obese were headed for trouble when they grew older. 75% of them continued to be severely obese as they became young adults. The other author of the study, Natalie Tay, says by the time they reached their 30s, gender also played a role. Nearly 37% um, of males who were obese as adolescents became severely obese in adulthood. And nearly 50% of women who were obese as adolescents went on to become severely obese. In the last 30 years, the number of children who are overweight in the United States has doubled, and the rate of overweight adolescents has tripled. American children and teens are not the only ones gaining weight. The World Health Organization says childhood obesity is epidemic, even in developing countries. The study appeared in the Journal of the American Medical Association. Melinda Smith, VOA News.